<sighs> Hello everyone, my name is Jenna Castro, and welcome back to another episode of the Women's Sports Matter Podcast. Today we're going to be talking to my little sister, Isabella. Say hi. Hello. No, I said say hi, not hello. I don't want... <laughs> Hola. <laughs> okay, Just well you angry. failed Spanish. Um, before we get started and jump in today's episode, let's hear a quick word from today's sponsor, Anchor, narrated by... Your favorite podcast host, ever. Isabella Belcastro. You're wrong. You don't <laughs> host a podcast. I don't. But exactly. So without further ado, we're gonna hit commercial break. Boop boop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is called the ridiculous episode. Do you like hearing my ad reads? I try to skip them. That's what I do when I watch. Um, that guy that talks about shows. Not Daz Game. Alex Myers. Mm -hmm. I do that. Because sometimes I don't like it. But, you know, we're doing a QA and a Jana, so ask me a question. No, a you're asking... No, you just ruined it. Today we're going to be doing a sister Q&A because when you run out of... When you run out of things to record for your podcast, you turn to the person that has been begging to come on the Women's Sports Matter podcast, except... She doesn't like women's sports. Uh, you no, said it. You're... I just don't want to talk about it. I feel like there's more things to talk about than just women's sports. What is the name of this podcast? Women's sports. Jenna. Okay, let's just get on with it. Okay, ask me a question and I'll answer it. Uh. Why did you say. S oh my god. But could it be about like anything? Okay, well. Keep in mind that we have listeners from around the globe. So, nothing personal. Also, you have to remind yourself that you need to keep talking because when people listen to this on a podcast application, they're not watching this awful video that is on YouTube and you can find it if you look up the Women's Sports Matter podcast. <coughs> Might as well subscribe while you're there. Just saying, but continue. Okay. Okay, my question is, Yes. you visited France and other countries before, which one would you rather go to? Belgium. Bel when I went to Bruges, I didn't when I name went it. To, when I went to Bruges, it was so nice. Brussels was great, too. You know, I was going to say France or Belgium, but... Oh, I've been to Mexico, too. We both went to Mexico. No, I wanted to pick two countries. I mean, obviously, we'll go to Mexico again. Okay, is that your question? My question is, would you rather go to France or Belgium? Belgium, 100%. Belgium is better than France. Shout out to all my Belgian listeners out there. Probably whoop, whoop. You know what? I appreciate 35. my one Belgian listener. Thank you so much for listening, of course. I appreciate you. <laughs> Alright, John, ask me a question. Um, why do you want to be on this podcast so badly? I like answering questions. Except if they're about, like, school or women's sports. Just to make you angry. I don't understand. I don't know. It's just that I, I like to talk about... I can't talk about, like, one thing. Okay. Except if it's a show. But, like, if it's, like, women's sports, I need to talk about, like, things There's that are so actually going on in the world. There's so many things that you could talk about within women's sports. I know. That's li There's so much that I've talked about on this podcast. That, oh, okay. Question. Filler episode. Okay. Um, you need to keep talking. If you... Would you rather have another brother or another sister? Um, I think sister because I want a role model. Like, someone to look... Like, look up to, I guess. Because, you know, I'm the older sister. So I don't really have any guidance. You look at me for guidance, unfortunately... So, okay, so you wish you had an older I sister. I wish I had an older sister, maybe like one or two years older than me, just so like, maybe know the ropes of high school and whatnot. Um, if you could host a podcast, what kind of podcast would you host and why? I feel like it would be about everything. Okay. Like every other podcast. If you could host a podcast, what would your main topic be and why? Why? <laughs> My topic would be about, um, 
I feel like... Okay, um, I feel like it would be, like, about, like, main things that are going on in the world. Like, just, like... So, like, world news. World news. And then, sometimes, off-topic things, you know, but, like... So, you're stealing my thunder by doing another off-topic discussion, which well, this is basically another off-topic discussion. I think off-topic discussions are pretty cool, so. Oh, so you are a fan of my off-topic discussion series on my podcast. You have one. What is that? I have two. With about Gerald. trans rights or human rights is my first one, and my second one is... What's that? Off topic discussion, branching out with Zach Bernhardt, which oh. is available to Zach. listen to if you want to listen to that. Okay, so wait. It's your turn. And make sure you're looking at the camera and you're speaking up so the microphone can hear you. Okay. Um if you got to be from a country and you got to speak that language, what country would it be? Okay, so everyone, I'm deciding to learn Italian right now and I to Fulfill my destiny as an Italian. Um, we're like 70-something percent Italian. So I think that it's important to learn another language. Um, so I decided I'm going to start learning it. What? The head nodding. <laughs> the head nodding, Bella. I <laughs> go. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like a gecko? No, I'm speaking. Oh! <laughs> Gianna yeah, Bocastro, I'm speaking. Isabella Bocastro, I'm speaking. speaking. I'm speaking. Queen, oh my god, my foot is under the bed okay. and it's like stuck. Okay, well that's on you. Anyway, I decided that I'm Ow. going to learn Italian on Duolingo and it's actually really fun. I started doing it a few days ago. Today would be my third day. Um, it's not necessarily like... <laughs> stop it. It's not necessarily like a New Year's or a resolution kind of thing. Um, new I, me, new queen, yes. New your new me? Is that what you meant to say? But I saw it on TikTok. Okay. Um, so I decided to start learning Italian, and it's going really well, and I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I just think learning another language is really important, and I'd definitely be Italian. Okay. Um, Why did you fail Spanish last year? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Actually, there was this one time in Spanish, I, um, it was, we had points, and I was on a team, and the, we were tied, uh-huh. and I was up, but I didn't know I was going to be up, because, like, it was, like, yeah. one minute left, and this is when I knew I was going to fail Spanish, when I was, I was, like, versing up uh, playing this, this girl, against. I was playing against this girl I knew, and... I didn't even know what I was saying, so I just said something. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I looked at the card I tried to pronounce. You're it. like, and then I looked at Cree, and Cree started laughing at me, and I, and then the bell rang, and I just went back to my seat. And I just well, I out. passed French. No, Do I remember. Wait, but that was the last like. That was well, that was the last that period was like, of the day. That was like so. the moment that you realized this is not going to work out. I for me. yeah, that was. I even remember, I'm gonna remember that when I was when I'm older. Like I knew that was the okay, exact well, moment. Okay, well I think you should learn another language, and I think you should take ASL. Um, I passed oh, French in high school. I got B's in French. I wasn't good at it. I still kind of know how to read it a little bit. Uh huh. That's <laughs> nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. don't look me like that. Okay. Weirdo. Okay, your turn. Oh, um. What is one class that you failed? Chemistry. <clears throat> Almost. Actually, I've never, like, actually failed a class before. <clears throat> Math. I dropped the class. I didn't you fail it. I failed Spanish. And I will always. Okay, no. Why are we talking about school? Stop asking me about school. Who asked me about school? Because it was funny. Ask me another question, please. Okay, um... Who is your fail male celebrity? And I'll tell you about it. Fail? <laughs> fail. <laughs> favorite, Who is Sorry, my favorite, favorite male celebrity and why? It could be, like, it has to be, like, Can number one. Can I say one. Gerald? No. Number one. <laughs> number one. You can't have, like... Two um, has to be only one. 
I'm a big fan of Harry Styles, but I don't think he's my favorite. Yeah, I said favorite, Gianna. I don't know if I exactly have a favorite. Like, I wouldn't say, I mean, I love Chris Cuomo and, like, Andy Like, someone Rogers. that I look up to or someone, like, that I'm in love with, apparently? Why? Well, okay, Because so that's your, that's your thing. Mine is, like, mine is Chris Cuomo. Or Bella like is Daniel in love Light. with CNN news anchor. I'm not going to kick you, Gianna. Chris Cuomo, everyone. Um, so... Or, like, I like... My favorite person, my favorite male figure in Gam. the world is Harry Styles because he's an incredible human being. I think... Period. I like Daniel. Dan Levy. Yeah. Love, love How do you say his name? I don't know. Dan Levy. I had to wait for you to say it. You know, she thinks... <laughs> you, I can't say his she name. She thinks that you say Dan Levy is Dan or, Levi. Or like I can go with, like... Thing. In Summer Holder, or I can go with Bella's in Kaylee love Bryant. with fifty year old man. Bella's in love with fifty year old man. Jenna, how old is Kaylee Take Bryant? Take one down. Twenty five. Who? That girl from Legacy. Twenty three. Okay, that's one thing I think we should talk about. They cast thirty year old people as teenagers. Wait, okay, like when I found out the ages of like the people from Stranger Things, like Millie Bobby Brown is like. What is it, like, 16? Like, she's, in, like, in the middle between And us. she doesn't even look that age. Okay, well, my mother said to me that I could be, like, a 30-year-old 30 30 year old playing, like, an 18-year-old. Uh, because I look young or whatever. Like, what does that mean? How old do I look? Okay, remember that movie, God? No. Yes, God, God, yes. Something. Yes, Bella, the she, Netflix movie. She's, like, like... Almost in her 30s, I think, maybe? Or, like... Okay, I've had enough of this conversation because it makes me mad. Okay, my question to you is, what is your favorite clothing brand? Okay. When I think of it, it's like... When I think of those questions, I think of, like, if I could only have one clothing brand. That's not my question. I know, but I think of it as that. I think... Oh, my God. Clothing brand. What is your if, favorite if, brand to wear? If I say Lululemon, I think it's too basic. Bella, Lululemon, you don't even own anything. Yes, I do. One article of clothing from Lululemon and she's in love. I'm getting two other ones. Oh, my bad. Three. Um, if I say Nike, it's basic, too. I love I th- wearing Nike because it's comfortable. I th- um, Alright, um, you th- I'll go with, uh, no, I'm gonna go with Under Armour. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. What is your favorite college sport? To watch? Yeah, to watch. What do you you like, what's your favorite college sport? Um, obviously, no, I, it's field hockey, Bella, because I've watched some of that. I've never watched field hockey my entire life, but I think I should watch it one day at least. Um, my favorite college sport to watch is women's basketball because there's so much up-and-coming players that can go into the WNBA. Um, there's so much potential, and there's a lot of, like, people you don't necessarily know about until they have this one big game, and then their career just we should do a, is like a rocket. We, we should do a couple more questions. Okay, so... We should do a couple more questions. This is a half-an-hour episode. Oh, yeah. Well, we should do more things just as Q&A questions. Okay, fine. Last questions for the both of us. No! Like, three each. <laughs> Gianna. Okay, literally it's my turn. Yeah, ask me a question. If you could only play one sport for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Dancing's a sport, right? Yeah. Okay, that's hard because I want to... I like playing basketball and dance in my free time, but, like... You don't even dance anymore. The last time you danced was when you were in grade school. I know, but that's not what I mean. Like, I dance every day. But TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok dances TikTok. doesn't count. Or my basketball. Okay, glad that you know something. Oh, okay, Go my off. question is, what is your favorite female art? Like, person, celebrity, I guess. My favorite female. Woman. Yeah. Person. Okay. Um. <laughs> can I give a joke answer and then give a real answer? It's your podcast. I. 
What? I'm literally the host. I'm not a narcissist. Then go! Can I give a fake answer? Yes, Tiana. Okay, so, um, it's definitely Girl in Red. <laughs> Jenna, I'm Girl gonna have your own podcast. Girl in Red is my favorite person in the world. Isn't definitely top okay, ten. Never mind, never definitely mind. top no ten. Joke, no definitely joke. top ten for sure. Uh, my favorite woman in the world. You know, I'll, I'll, go, um, I'll go first. No, I'm. There's like so many different female athletes that I look up to. I'm gonna say Sam Kerr is a soccer player that used to play for the Chicago Red Stars. Plays for the Australian women's national team and plays for Chelsea. Come on, you blues. Okay. I'm going to go with... You're answering your own question? Yeah. It's, it's cool to answer that. Okay. Favorite female celebrity. Favorite? Okay. Woman. Same thing. Okay. Okay, that's tough. Though. Go on, Red. Oh, is it Clara? I know you're a big Clara fan. Abuse her fans. <laughs> okay, no. Come on. Seriously. Okay, my favorite celebrity. You know what? I'm gonna go with Lily Reinhardt. Unexpected an- uh, answer. Um, if you could go to any university <gasps> in the world, where would you go and why? You need to have like an actual reason for the why part, because you can't just say it's in California. That is not an answer, <laughs> Bella. That is not an answer. Okay. Um, I don't know. So, I want to go to UCLA because it's in California, and, like, I want to be an actress and everything when I grow up, so, like, that would be, like, the perfect spot No, that's when I said I wanted to be, like, a firefighter. Okay, so, I'm going to make Jenna angry when I say this. I'm going to go to Iowa. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Yeah. R.I.P. headphone users. Seriously? Should have gave a warning. For what reason? Just to make your day miserable. Ah! No. I don't accept this answer. Like, you need a real answer. Like, that is the only I don't have to- any. I don't know any other, like. You need to do your college research, girl. I'm a freshman. Exactly. Okay. Never too early to start looking for colleges. Okay. If you can. Could... Don't lean like that. Shut up. If you could. Could... Visit any place in the whole world. Wait, you're I- sticking with Iowa? <laughs> Leave me alone. If you can visit any place in the world for over two weeks, two expenses weeks. paid for, two you can weeks. have any cars you want, what place well, would you I don't you want to drive. You can have a limo. Expenses paid for. Anything two you weeks want. worth. One place only. Okay, well, give that look to the camera, because we all love that look. Okay, so, um, if I could go one place in the world for two weeks, all expenses paid, with a limo and everything, I would... Rolls Royce. You said it right! Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. No, Bella, that is wrong. Um, I'm kind of stuck between Germany and Italy. Yeah, Italy. Um, no, this is my question. I know, but I'm agreeing. Um, I think maybe Italy more because there's so many different cities that you can go to in two weeks. So I feel like this this episode is strictly Italian only. Mm. Except for that one part when I talk about Belgium. Because okay. I love Belgium. Okay, you asked me a question. Um... Uh, what is your favorite kind of car? Uh oh, someone doesn't know what she likes. I need to stop doing this on here because I keep embarrassing myself. Okay, so that's a very good question. I know it is. Any car I could have. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. I know. I've always wanted this car, and I've always, like, liked it, and it's not okay, a Lamborghini. Have, you don't have your driver's license. I know. When I came out of the womb, everyone, I decided that this is the car that I wanted this is not in my big life. Mouth, Gianna. I'm sorry. People, I don't understand that reference. People who watch Big Mouth will understand. Okay, well, Maybe. if you watch Big Mouth, comment down below on this YouTube video. I don't think they'll understand. You I talk. I don't understand. I think I don't it'd be a Mustang. 
You want a Mustang? Well, if, on. if it was like a fast car, like a laid back car. I got a fast no, car. No, I'll be you know, a laid back car. I would want a Jeep Wrangler, preferably white, a black interior. If you. No, why would you get anything white? Because then you literally ruin it if you spill your coffee. But, but don't say, worry if you spill it on the floor because you got WeatherTech mats in your car. Strong enough to pick up pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay. Um, Last one's for each. Okay, this kind of goes with the female. No, wait. I know what you're going to say. If you ask some weird... I know what you're going to say because I think I know the answer. But... I know what we should do next, actually. This kind of goes with it. Okay, well, you need to... What is your favorite TV show of all time? Of all time? Mm -hmm. There's so many great shows that I watched. Community, Atypical, um, Parks and Rec. Don't forget Legacies! The Office. I hate Legacies. Um, I actually, like, change my mind about Legacies. Honestly, anyone. She loves Except Riverdale. Bella. Riverdale sucks. No, it does not... You know, you just don't know the highs and lows of football. <laughs> I still don't get it, but it... When it's literally something that Archie says in the show. Well, so That's Archie. It's just like Landon. No one gives a crap. No one gives a crap about the male leads. Well, we like Jughead and Ralph. But those are like supporting... We... Yeah, that's true. Cause like, What's the question? My favorite... TV show of all, all time. time. Of all time. Damn it. I'll answer that. But you're I, not going to think. It's definitely a tie between Atypical Community and Parks and Rec. Okay. But I do... I'm going to think about this. Like, if it's the only show I could ever watch, I'd definitely go with Parks and Rec. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, me, you're not going to... You're not going to... Speak up. You're not... Mm, Jesus, yeah. You're not going to believe this, but I like more like documentaries and things about real life. I'm going to say this and you're going to you're going to get up. <laughs> I like the People versus OJ Simpson. Okay, everyone, thank you. Good night. <laughs> this is not James Corden, y'all. You know, just walk out. I didn't mean to do it that loud, I swear. Yeah, she did. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I'm so sorry, but Bella just has incredibly bad taste. No, it's really cool. Okay, what do you want to do next? All right, so this kind of ties in with the question I asked you about, sort of, I think. My brain works differently. I'm never doing this kind of episode. I'm going to say something about myself, and you're going to answer it. Like, if I ask what's my favorite food, you have to... Pasta. We're, we're going to see how well we know each other. We're going to ask questions about ourselves. Okay, well, you need to person. realize that we have a camera in front of us, and you need to stop looking at me more and looking there. Well, I'm talking to you. Okay, well, I'm talking to you, too, but remember, we have an audience. Hi, there. Hi, hello, Jeffrey This Star, is literally welcome. the worst episode I've ever recorded. Don't understand. Okay. Go. And thank you so much, everyone, for No, listening. Gianna! <laughs> Who do I like more? You? Or Emily? No, we can't. Uh, uh, da, 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 no, answer. wait a second. No, we can't do this on this podcast, because that's like family stuff, and I told you no personal stuff it's on the podcast. personal. Poc- you know who I would choose. Okay, yeah, but Emily. is this interesting to viewers? That. Thank you so much for <laughs> listening to another episode. No, Gianna. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do to okay, end fine. the episode. We're going to talk about our favorite sports teams from each leagues and why we support oh, them. Sh- so, our favorite basketball team is... Yes, The I NBA a, team. Yes, I am a bad wagoner, but the Lakers. Because of... Browning. Okay. I am a Celtics fan and a Bulls fan. Because Bulls because of Chicago, obviously. Ew. Ew. Aw, she has the Bulls hat right next to her. And I'm literally, I'm not a Timberwolves fan, but like, <laughs> I like collecting merch. And I'm not a sense. Sox fan either. We're not at that part yet, and yes, you are. The reason I'm a Celtics fan is the same reason I was a Jazz fan back in the day is because of Gordon Hayward. Am I a Charlotte Hornets fan now? Absolutely not. I would never do that. 
Um, so I am so Charlotte Hornets, not a Charlotte, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not a... And Miami Heat. Don't look at me like that. I hope someone finds this podcast and watches all the way through and makes a meme out of it, and then we become viral for you being d- d- stupid. D- okay, the reason is because I'm a Gordon Hayward fan, but, like, I'm not really... I'll be a fan of him, but I'm not a Charlotte Hornets fan, so those are my two favorite NBA teams. We're all WNBA. <sighs> okay, fine. I'm gonna go with the one in Minnesota. because we The we Minnesota s- Lynx. Yeah, we saw that together. So. And why? I, I think it was because it was a fun experience. I mean, you had fun? Yeah. Was it your first WNBA game? Yeah, I was... And also were pictures taken of me with my face. So I The guess. reason I have this shirt is because I wore it to the Lynx game. And we were in Minnesota. Too. And we were in Minnesota for a school visit. And um, we went to, to a school twins. that I didn't get into. Yeah, we went to tw- we went to the Twins. I'm game. applying there again, so I hope they let me in. Okay. Um, my favorite WNBA team is, of course, the Chicago Sky. Uh, mostly because Allie Quigley went to my first high school. So ever since then, I've kind of been a fan. I'm also a Seattle Storm fan. Um, I'm basically a fan of any team. I'll watch any team, honestly. I'm also kind of a New York Liberty fan now because of Sabrina Unescu, but if I had to pick one team, I had to root for the Sky because of what I said earlier. Hockey. NHL. No diet NHL. No, there's two hockey leagues that I'll be talking about. Oh, like with the... No. Keep going. Jesus. Um, okay. Obviously Blackhawks, but also Nashville Predators. And why? And I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna... What's that Toronto team? Maple Leafs. Yeah, that. So, you are fans of, of three hockey teams. You don't watch hockey. You don't know anything about hockey. And you pick these teams. I picked them. I don't, I don't know why I picked them. Well... Blackhawks was because of Chicago and all, but and I don't know. Okay, um, NHL team that I will support is the Blackhawks because again it's Chicago. Um, I really don't Chicago, watch Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Chicago is not okay. notorious. Yes, it is. The reason <laughs> I don't watch hockey is because I'm not necessarily interested in it. But let's talk about the NWHL, which is coming up soon, and which I'll be talking about more about on this podcast. There are six teams in total, and my favorite NWHL, which is the National Women's Hockey League, by the way, is the Toronto Six because they follow me on Twitter. Um, and I want their merch really bad, but uh, I'll wait and see. I'm really excited to watch them play um, in the upcoming Isobel Cup. Why do you have chips in here? Because that is irrelevant. Do you have a favorite NWHL team? No, I didn't even know that was happening. Okay, well, we're both Toronto Six fans. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite baseball team? Hmm. Um, Obviously the Cubs. Obviously the Cubs while you're wearing white Sox pants. And the Sox. And the Sox. The and why Yankees. You're a Yankee. Uh, you right. know, I used to be a Houston fan, but until they cheated. Yeah, they cheated and they suck. Boo. But Yankees, Sox, Cubs... Why are you a White Sox yeah. fan? Why are you a Cubs fan? Why are you a Yankees fan? You gotta explain. Oh, uh, the reason why I'm a Yankees fan is because of Aaron Judge. The and then I'm well Chicago for both teams, but I started becoming a Sox fan after my grandpa passed away because he loved the Sox. So I just yeah. Okay, my favorite baseball teams include the White Sox, um, because my mom grew up on the south side of Chicago, so she passed down her love for the White Sox onto me, and then Bella's a bandwagon. Um, I'm not a a bandwagon for the Cubs. (coughs) I am a Dodgers fan because of Cody Bellinger. Um, I used to root for the Yankees because of Derek Jeter. I used to root for the Phillies because of Chase Utley, Um, and I'm pretty much a big baseball fan. I'll root for almost every team, 
except for the Cubs, the Orioles, the Braves, the Marlins, the Houston Astros, the Rangers, the Twins, the Cleveland Indians, the Kansas City Royals. I think that's every team in baseball. No, I'm going through the AL Central. I okay. don't care. No, ask. Um, what is your favorite soccer team? Pass. My favorite soccer team in the entire world is Chelsea Football Club, and that's in England. My favorite American soccer team uh, on the men's side is the Chicago Fire. And my favorite women's soccer team in the entire world is the Chicago Red Stars. But I will watch any team in the NWSL. I wouldn't necessarily root for every team, but I'll watch their games that they're on. Do you have a favorite soccer team? If you could play soccer, what position would you play? Somewhere where no one gets, yeah, I kick someone. What? You know. Um, when me and John used to play, she would always. Oh, so you want to be a defender? Yeah, I'm going to kick someone. I think that's all the time we have for you today. No, we didn't do every sport. Am I forgetting something? Football. Oh, right. Football. What's your favorite football team, Mila? God damn it, people. <laughs> um, What's your favorite football team, Mila? Ruin oh. everyone's day. Okay, I don't remember. We before. have a Chicago native, well, basically, who is a Green Bay Packers fan. And I will always be a Green Bay Packers fan. And none of y'all will ever change me to be a Packers None Bears of y'all fan. will ever change me. Ow! You... Dumb idiot! Don't hit me on my own podcast. Okay, uh, I will always be a Packers why fan. Why are you a Packers fan? No one in our family is a Packers fan. I know, it just happened when I was in like fourth grade. Bella fell in love with Aaron Rodgers. And Clay Matthews. And Clay Matthews. But then he got treated. Aw. But I don't know why I just became... My arms so But I will never, ever, ever in a million years be a Bears fan. I will never. Um, I don't really follow football. Oh, wait. No, shut up. I will go with the Patriots. Just to make Janice Day more angry. And I'll go the other team. If I had three teams. more? Three teams would be... Gianna, you stomach. Um, it will be... Um... What's that? What are those teams in? And um, what are those teams in uh, Florida? I for, I can't think of the it. The Bucks. No. The Jaguars. No. The Frick. What is it? <laughs> the Frick. I love that team. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you done? Oh, what am I thinking? No, it's not even in there. It's Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, so Bella is literally a bandwagon. Yes. I am a Except Bears for fan. The Cubs I and don't Packers. follow football, but if I had a root for a team, I'd go Chicago, Bears. Are we done now? Why? The Bears. Because you wouldn't pick any other team. I don't really follow football. Maybe the Tennessee Titans. No, the Tennessee Titans. Like, I hate soccer, you hate NFL. Okay, looks like that's all the time we have for today. I just went through a half an hour's worth of full-on misery. You know what? Misery is when you call. When you have to spend a whole day, every freaking day with you, Gianna. That's misery. Not 30 minutes Agony! I was singing that today and I couldn't think of the words. Oh agony. my god. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, well, thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Women's Sports Matter podcast. I'm glad that you got through this whole episode without cringing. You know, I bet people just left. I hope no one stayed till the end for this one. So Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I think... That would be cool. If what? If people, like, made it. To Are you going to send this to your friends? Hell no. If I send it to them? You touch 
or has done anything to my friends, I will beat the crap out of you. Well, okay. You can send it to Gabby, I don't care. Okay. Um, keep away, keep away, keep away. thank you f- like, I can just imagine people, like, driving and putting this on and listening to it and hearing my voice and being like, this girl must be funny. Trippin'. No, she ain't funny. Crackhead. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Women's Sports Matter podcast. I... Oh, you gonna get angry. I am your host, Gianna Bocascio. And I am your co-host. You are your never mom. going to be my co-host. That would be a living dream. Thank you, Isabella Bocascio. How for- much would I get paid? Five cents an hour? You are not getting any of my money that I make off this podcast. Not even one freaking penny? Not even one so freaking penny. So if you die, what is the will? It goes to Gerald. That's bogus. <laughs> Thank Bye. you so much for listening to another episode of the Women's Source Matter podcast. I'm your host, General Castro. I'm trying to end this thing. Do you know what? Like, Gerald should be next. Like, this is how he'll talk. Okay, I'm going to go learn some Italian and edit this podcast. My sister is going to go watch some Netflix. Thank you again, Isabella, for coming on today's episode. I hope you never come on here again. You know what? That's just rude. (laughs) I don't like this. I would love to come back, but not just talk about, like, Q&A questions. I would love to talk about the world. But you know what? Is there anything you have to promote before we leave? Uh, Yes. Uh... Okay. First, if any of you guys follow Gina on TikTok, I am not homophobic, okay? Oh, that was my one God. thing. You're really, I said no personal stuff. Personal, we're getting personal. I don't have a TikTok, everyone. It doesn't exist. It's not real. Okay, and also, you know, everything, you know, where you're mad. That is my thing. <laughs> that is my thing. Okay. Of course, Black Lives Matter. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So does, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They're like, <laughs> how do you say her name? Not Trump. How Trump do you say doesn't her matter. Name? How do you say her name? Kamala. Kamala. Com- I'm, you know, I'm not. That's how Trump said. I don't know. I'm not trying to beat Trump, Gianna. I don't okay. Wanna... Thank- oh, wait, wait. I'm not done. Friends' lives matter. Everyone's lives matter. Gianna's life does not matter because she's wrong. Okay. You wrap this up. I don't want to wrap this up. This is fun. No, I like to edit this. Please. Yeah, your neck just went way all back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you again for coming on today's episode. Please. Next time we're gonna talk about Trisha Paytas and her new single <laughs> called. <laughs> what is it? I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Wait, no, what's the one with the overdose? No, we can't make fun of that on here. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Oh. Oh, yeah. Overdose is not a joke. Wait. Overdosing is not a joke. Well, to Trisha, it is. And well, also- Trisha's just probably... We're not talk. Get out so I can end this, please. I love you, Jesus. Okay. For the last time, I'm no. not repeating myself after this. Oh, you're an atheist, too. Personal stuff. Okay, Personal. I talk about that on Off Topic Discussion Branching Out with Zach Bernhardt. If you like this podcast, make sure to subscribe wherever <laughs> you listen to my podcast. And guys, please watch some Alex Myers and Daz games. Okay, we're and done with PewDiePie. you talking. PewDiePie Stop and... Stop talking. What's that British guy? British guy? Mm-hmm. That one you always watch. He's Irish. Irish. Jack Septic Guy. Jack the freaking Septic Guy. Okay, get out of my room so I can finish. Or be quiet. Okay, be quiet. Follow me on Twitter at WSM Podcast. Follow me back. You don't follow me on Twitter. I followed your podcast. No, you didn't. You know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do people DM you and be like, yeah, your sister's so freaking cool? No. You're about to have 300 views. I'm about to have. One, oh. You have a lot of people that you need to follow back. No, I I don't really go on Twitter and like things. See, look, Toronto 6 follows me. A sports team follows this podcast. I think that's, it, that's enough to know that you should definitely subscribe. And I think you should have said that in the beginning. 
If you live in Georgia, today is the day to go out and vote for Reverend Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff in the Georgia Senate Senate runoff Wait, elections. Today or tomorrow? Because this, <laughs> this thing is going out tomorrow. So right? you say today. I just gotta make sure that your vocabulary is right. Today is January 4th. Tomorrow is January 5th. Tomorrow's the sun run off election. Someone's gotta go to the doctor. If you are in Georgia and you're listening to this on January 5th, Everybody okay? Go watch Impulsive. That no one won. We're no not one promoting won. podcasts on a podcast. Why not? I've really had an... Can I finish this? You look how much you're extending it by. If you live in Georgia, tomorrow, or as you're listening to this, today, January 5th, go out and... (laughs) Get out and vote for Reverend Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff to get rid of David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, who are terrible politicians. If this... Election works out the way that it should. McConnell will no longer be. McConnell will not will not be majority <laughs> leader in the Senate anymore. anymore. As always, <laughs> we are story. still in a pandemic, and I ask that you please wear a mask, wash your hands, and Use social distance when you can. I said wash your hands. And use a sanitizer. And use sanitizer. And I'm not adding... No. It sounds so much better if you say wear a mask, wash your hands, and social distance when you can. And party all the while. As always, I am your host, Shannon Castro. And I am your co-host, your mom. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Bella's gone into her loopy hours. Crack and this head. is... No, we don't say crackhead, Bella. My bad. Yeah. I am going to end this podcast for all of us so we don't have to go through this trauma ever again. Nope. If you like this episode, you know what to do. Okay? Go ahead and like, comment, and share, and go on TikTok and dance to Gianna's ugly voice. I love you, Jesus. Thank you so much for listening. Have a nice rest of your day. And, uh, go Packers. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all, folks.